back to my channel, Michelle Gay Science Teacher. In today's video, we're doing an experiment called Alka-Seltzer Reaction from You Be the Chemist. If you're interested in this experiment, then stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, then I hope you will subscribe and like so that you can see more experiments in the future. If you're doing this experiment with me, these are the materials you will need. Alka-Seltzer, a thermometer, three clear cups, one with hot water, cold water, and room temperature water. You will also need goggles and some type of timer. So what is Alka-Seltzer used for? Alka-Seltzer is used for fevers, heartburn, acid reflux, indigestion, stomach ache. These tablets are put in water and when you drink this, it will calm your stomach down or reduce the fever. Um, what Remember I talked um, in another video about the pH scale and on the pH scale from one to six is uh, our acids and then from eight to 14 are bases but seven in the middle is neutral. Your stomach is full of acid and it is a one on the pH scale. So if there's too much acid, sometimes your stomach will get upset and cause indigestion. So when you take this, what it does, it neutralizes uh, your stomach uh, so that you're no longer feeling sick. So it calms that acid down in your stomach. First, we're going to add water to our three cups that I've labeled. Cold water, room temperature, hot water. This is hot water and I'm putting four ounces in each cup. Room temperature. And cold. Okay, they all look about the same. All right, so let's take the temperature of the cold water. You can see that it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. You also want to have some paper towels on hand. So I'm going to wipe this off and see if I can take that coolness off. Let's go to the room temperature. And whenever students are using thermometers, I always tell them to hold it from the tip. Don't hold it where they're touching the actual um, glass part. Okay, let's check. Okay, can you see this one reads 70? And now the hot water. This one reads 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. First, we're going to test the rate of speed for the room temperature. Now, you will want to record this so you can compare your data, just like you recorded um, other information from other science experiments. I also suggest that you record your uh, temperature so you have that data to come up with your conclusion. Alright, so I have on my watch, so I'm going to use it as a timer. We want it to continue to fizz 
and look at it and determine what type of reaction we're seeing. We want the, most of the tablet to be gone. That's it. 42 seconds. So I'm going to put that down on my little napkin here. Okay. We're going to test cold water next. Now, do you already notice a difference in the rate? or not. Why do you think this one is going at a slow rate? If you had to take Alka-Seltzer, would you want to take it using the cold water, room temperature, or hot? Teachers, students like this part because you know they they see that difference and they're comparing it and they can see the rate has slowed down and so they are really trying to figure out what's going on and so during this time i just let my students discuss and ooh and ah and continue to um, ask each other questions or come up with why they think it is occurring uh, during this time why the reaction rate has slowed down. How long do you think this has taken so far? Put in the comments below. almost done kind of floating to the top usually when it does that it's through all right this one took two minutes and 40 seconds okay now that we have 42 seconds for room temperature, two minutes and 40 seconds for cold water. What, how much time do you think it will take in the hot water? Make a guess and write your predi prediction down. And uh, teachers, this is exactly what I would have students do at this point. I put the hot water in the middle so at the end we can compare it to the room temperature and the cold temperature. Okay, let's start. Oh my! about 20 seconds and probably less because I let it continue to go on. All right, and what did you notice about this one when the tablet was put into the water? Also, look at all three cups 
and look at the bubbles in the cups and see if you see a difference in the three. So back to our question, what effect does temperature have on the rate of an Alka-Seltzer? Which reaction was the fastest and which was the slowest? Also, was it a chemical reaction or was it just a physical property? And what were those bubbles made of? Well, Alka-Seltzer is made of three things, sodium bicarbonate, citric acid, and aspirin. When the sodium bicarbonate and citric acid mix together, they begin to form bubbles, which is carbon dioxide, a gas, CO2. And because we have the sign of bubbles, we have a chemical reaction that has occurred. The rate of the bubbles depended on the temperature. The warmer the temperature, the faster the bubbles moved and the uh, quickly the Alka-Seltzer dissolved. Now, these particles, the sodium bicarbonate and the citric acid began to collide with each other with each other and these molecules as they were bumping against each other began to produce uh, carbon dioxide which is a gas and they were able to do this because of kinetic energy energy in motion and so these bubbles were able to stay in motion at a fast speed based on the interaction between the sodium bicarbonate and the citric acid now at the beginning, I mentioned endothermic and exothermic process. The Alka-Seltzer is an endothermic process because it absorbs the energy from its surrounding when it was placed into the water. And if you would touch the water uh, once it has been released, you will feel uh, the temperature of the water is cooler. This experiment was provided by UB the chemist UB the Chemist is a nonprofit organization that provides activity guides for teachers. You can go on their website and download these activity lessons for free. I am a certified instructor for UB the Chemist and I go out and conduct presentations for teachers on chemistry using these activity guides and modeling the 5E process. I hope you like this video and if you are new, I hope you subscribe. Have a wonderful and blessed day.